Hello again, folks. It's Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And uh, I guess the first thing I should say is, uh, sorry if I'm looking a little bit haggard. It is uh, 10 after 4 in the morning, and uh, I don't even remember how long I've been up. It's uh, I basically uh, work until I can't think straight. My body will still work, my hands will still work, but my mind just can't think. And that's when I finally... Uh, go to bed for usually about 16 hours and then I wake up and work for another 24 to 30 hours. It's just kind of gotten into my blood and um, and I do apologize for any uh, informality or uh, you know any any bad appearance on my part. Uh, at any rate, uh, tonight's demonstration or this morning's demonstration, whatever it is, uh, is going to be, It's this, this seems to be the week for all-in-one combos and um, I uh, I have to say that I normally don't take these. Uh, only during certain times a year do I accept these. Uh, they're they're a real challenge to pack safely, uh, and uh, since the customer pays all shipping charges, even in the case of warranty repairs, in which I'll mention also that my warranty rate is just over half of one percent. That means. Um, out of uh, out of about maybe 180 units, I might get one back, and that's a pretty doggone good warranty return rate. And uh, that rate is also proven uh, by documentation from my last day job uh, working at a uh, licensed FAA repair station as an avionics technician, top level avionics technician. You can go on my website, uh, barrysatrackrepair.com slash credentials with a capital C. And, uh, and you can actually see the documentation that I've put on my website that came from that job, my performance reviews and all that. Uh, uh, ab actually, uh, my performance was literally off of their charts. Um, in many cases, I scored like 150% out of a possible 100%, uh, things like that. But at any rate, I won't, uh, I won't blab on and on about that. You can go check that on the website if you like. Uh, this is a sound design all-in-one combo with uh, AM, FM, cassette, 8-track and turntable and it also has an aux input. Uh, on these units if they don't already have an aux input I, I go ahead and add one because almost everybody wants to run their you know iPods or uh, mp3 players, CD players, stuff like that through their uh, through their vintage stereo so if it doesn't have an aux input I'll go ahead and add one. This one does already have one. So this is just another final uh, performance verification test uh, so the customer knows that everything is working when it leaves the shop and if there's a problem he needs to check his speakers you know things like that bad cables so let's go ahead and turn it on got it set to FM at the moment and we'll just go ahead and run it across the dial make sure we pick up uh, now these home units they don't pick up nearly as much as the car unit does and uh, especially as much as the converted car units but we should get 10 or 15 stations. And this is common to all of your your budget grade home units. Of course, a high end home receiver is going to have much better reception. But this is a uh, what they're designed to uh, to pick up. They that's a lot of stuff to to pop into a unit. Uh, and of course, every everything is manufactured on a budget. <laughs> And uh, another factor too is that this is just using the line cord as an antenna. So by moving the line cord, you can you can uh, improve your reception too. And it also has an input for an external antenna, which I do not have hooked up at the moment. So that was probably between 10 or 15 FFM stations. Uh, there's probably nothing on the AM except around 1400. We'll switch over and check that real quick. And you're hearing the familiar AM interference and hum and noise.
Well, it is 4 o'clock in the morning, and it may not even be on the air. And also, these units have a, a loop antenna, and so the, uh, the orientation of the unit can affect the reception also. But it looks like we're not going to pick up anything at this time of the morning on the AM band. So we'll just go back to FM, and then we'll play around with some other functions. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and pop uh, pop an eight track in there. Now this this particular model has one tape setting, and that applies to either the uh, eight track or the cassette player. Uh, this eight track records off of any other source, any other onboard source, including the aux input, uh, and the cassette also records off of any of the other uh, onboard sources as well. So let's go ahead and pop an eight track tape in there. We let's see, let's let's find something a little bit off the beaten path for a change. You get tired of the Anne Murray and Temptation. Let's try some Genie C. Riley, good old Harper Valley PTA. But we won't play that song because I might get nailed for copyright. So here we go. <laughs> just, just about every song by Genie C. Riley has something to do with Harper Valley PTA. And as you can see, this song sounds very similar to Harper Valley PTA. Okay, switch tracks. Mr. Harper. That's another spin off of Harper Valley PTA. Another Harper Valley spinoff. It even has some of the same vocal lines. Shirley Thompson, another Harper Valley spinoff. My God, this entire album is, it's a Harper Valley PTA concept album. This is a, a, a recently acquired tape, and I had no idea how how tied to Harper Valley PTA this lady is. I mean, she put out one song that you know made a massive hit for a while. So let's let's go ahead and make an entire album around that song. It's it's pretty it's pretty hard to believe. So anyway, uh, just for fun, we'll pop a little Anne Murray in just for a few seconds. space between songs. That's on program four, so we're probably going to be switching tracks. Oh, there we go. I guess not. All righty. So we got the, that taken care of, and now we're doing um, the uh, cassette. I'm going to pop a cassette in here for a few moments and, and make sure that works correctly. You're listening to the strains of Cat Stevens. I went to switch to switch tracks. <laughs> okay, this. Okay, we're. Okay, now that we're on the space between songs, let's make sure the rewind works, and we can tell that by making sure that there is music when we hit play again. Rewind for a short time. Hit play. Okay, that's the same song, of course. Let's go ahead and fast forward. This does have a nice, strong fast forward and rewind. Uh, those are functions that usually get weak over the years until you service it. Okay, and there's the next song, of course. All right, let's flip the tape over, make sure it plays the other side properly. Interestingly, the title of this tape is Cat's Cradle, but it does not have the song Cats in the Cradle on it. That's, uh, I think that's pretty interesting. That might be another, uh, you know, he made a smash hit with Cats in the Cradle. So if we at least entitle the next tape Cat's Cradle, it'll, it may sell just on that, 
on that on that merit. So okay, we've had some pretty interesting experiences. And along with that, um, now the, since the customer said that somebody else did this job, it's okay to go ahead and uh, point it out and make a big fuss about it. Um, there's been some creative gluing done. Now these uh, these aluminum front panels, brushed aluminum front panels, they were generally held on with just a little line of adhesive. And over the years, that adhesive tends to dry out and then the front panel will start to come off. So um, someone before this customer um, had taken, I can't even tell what it is, it looks like possibly Elmer's glue, but uh, they just slapped that glue all over the place. Let's see if we can get a close up of the of the of the glued area. See if we can move this unit. Okay, we're not gonna we're gonna move it back to get the focus, but uh, you don't see it real well. Uh, but there you can see some some of that glue spilled out from under here and got all over here. Uh, there's all kinds of junk right there. Um, just a really crappy uh, gluing job. <laughs> Definitely nothing that I would do. Um, so, okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's back this thing off again, and we're going to test the phonograph portion. And we're just going to make sure that uh, the automatic functions work properly and that it plays, drops a needle down where it's supposed to and all that. And as is usually the case, we've got some Herb Alpert. From <laughs> I grew up, uh, my brother is a local radio personality uh, in in this area. Uh, he, uh, he has a talk show on uh, 1130 a.m., and two or three FM stations that are more like sister stations by the same owner. Uh, he also does some news. Um, so that, that may explain why a lot of customers, you know, say I sound like a radio guy uh, because I've got a lot of his influence. Uh, so at any rate, let's go ahead and, uh, uh, but uh, the point that I was getting at was when I grew up as a young child, all that was playing in the house was talk radio. We never listened to music in the house. He was grooming himself from that age to be a radio personality. And he was like, well, he was like, you know, eight or nine years old and he already knew that he wanted to be a radio personality. And the guy is a fantastic hockey announcer. He is every bit as smooth as Dan Kelly uh, and, and the other guys that you hear, you know, professionally. Um, and he finally, got a, he finally got a break when he uh, moved in with me for a while and got a job at our local radio station. So, uh, that may explain why uh, you sometimes hear him when I'm demonstrating the radio functions on car players. Uh, that is at reasonable amounts of t at reasonable times. It's 4:30 in the morning, so he's probably asleep. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop some Herb Alpert on this thing and make sure that it does everything it's supposed to do. We got it set to 33 RPM, 12 inch, and uh, now this this one has a handy cueing lever that will lift that arm up for you if you don't feel confident lifting it by yourself with your with your thumb. I, I'm very dexterous, so it doesn't bother me to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, put this thing on and hit auto and watch that record drop and hear it play. Oh, I forgot to set it to phono. There we go. Now you're hearing mostly the right side, and that is the way it was recorded. It's another one of those things they did to enhance the stereo effect in the early days of stereo. So just to prove that, let's make sure that we get a strong left channel on the next song. There we go. That's much more balanced. We'll let you have a peek at the output level meters. our balance control left and right left right okay back to the unit in the foreground okay now let's uh, let's simulate the end of the recording to make sure that it automatically rejects and all that stuff and uh, nor did the types of units that have a built-in phonograph normally turn off by themselves if you don't have the power switch on and you and you turn the turntable on that will turn on the whole unit so this unit should turn up itself off automatically at the end of the uh, stack of records so let's just make sure it does that if it's going to do that I'm not sure if it's designed to do it but it probably will
There we go. All righty. So that uh, concludes the test. Everything is working fine. She's ready to go back. I'm ready to either get onto the next job or to go to sleep or have another cup of coffee or whatever it is that my whims uh, dictate that I do. This is Barry with Barry's 8-track and classic car radio repair. Needless to say, if you have an 8-track unit in need of service, um, in some cases all-in-one units, depending on the time of year and my current workload um, and, uh, and whatever value or whatever risk I might uh, assess with the with the shipping and the packing and all that stuff it, it's kind of an iffy subject uh, so you, you definitely want to check with me uh, before you send in one of these all-in-one super consoles uh, and I also do uh, FM conversions on classic car AM radios I can add Bluetooth USB reader um, aux input and all that cool stuff so uh, the, my number is 928-533-9666 my website is in the description below thank you very much for watching and listening and we'll see you next time